representation for Malaysia, making them proud, doing fantastic things for the country. Are you sure you want to pursue it? Because you know, it's the stigma where people say there's no future and everything. I don't really have like backup plan anyway, so it's gonna like do or die for me. I always keep this in mind that I always have to take care of my mom, like it should be my mom first. Obviously it does help me in living a better life thanks to Valerian. It should be like 36 minutes, 24 km. How often do you guys do these kind of like fishing trips? Every time it's here. So every far, time I, every I came. time in this back lap. Yeah. In my hometown, which is my state, Kelantan, that is basically kind of like a foreign thing to pick up gaming. I don't know how, but somehow I managed to get here. My late dad used to fish a lot. At that time, I didn't like fishing, so whenever I follow him, I just find it very boring, you know? Like, there's just a lot of waiting. But as I grew up, I kind of like got hooked up with it, you know? I find it very like calming, especially maybe because I have uh, responsibilities now, you know? I find it like a uh, safe space for me to kind of like, release my stress. You know, every day is always in front of PC, practicing and stuff, but when I go out to fish, it's kind of like a good places for me to take a moment and think about life decision, you know? I think when I was seven, eight, I started to love to go to PC Cafe. During that time, my brother, kind of like the first person that get me into gaming. He's the first one that started the trend, which is going to the PC cafes. And I think after a while, he stopped going because he kind of like get a social life, I guess. But I didn't leave even when he left the gaming stuff. More interested in fishing than playing Valorant. Facts. Actually. When he talks about like fishing, right, his eyes light up. But when he talks about Valorant, he's like, Exposed. Don't put this in there. I've been known Kali since I was five years old. I would say he's one of the reasons why I got into gaming as well. Because you know, after school, then we have like a extra classes. We would skip those and go into like a PC cafes together. I would say my mom is not really happy at first. Nobody left and their kids spending too much time playing games and stuff. She's kind of like worried at the same time. I just told her that give me one chance to prove her wrong. And yeah, I mean, it's kind of like worked out well for me. I mean, first Saturday thing was Orange Esport. I got the invitation through my friends. I got it after I played my first local tournament, I would say. And after that, they kind of like saw my skills and yeah, they kind of like invited me to go for a try and stuff. Vincent, maybe next week I will be going to KL, meeting out with some these certain people where we have a team together. And then I asked him, are you sure you want to pursue it? Because you know, it's the stigma where people say there's no future and everything. And we sat down and we talked. I told him that just do whatever feels right for you. I remember going to my first international land in Shanghai. I had a good performance. It's your first time going for international events and you played while traveling to a lot of countries, I guess. That's the one thing that I love the most about being a professional gamer. I don't really have like makeup plan anyway, so it's gonna like do or die for me. At the time, for some reason, I knew that I can do better than most of the players in the scene and stuff, so yeah. Dubai is the sole representation for Malaysia, making them proud, doing fantastic things for the country. Yeah, I'm very happy with how well we perform as a team and stuff, and obviously it does help me and my other teammates in living a better life, thanks to Valorant. And he went to Korea with his girlfriend and stuff to visit me and Ali flew to Tokyo Masters to see me. It was a surreal experience for me because it was my first big LAN tournament because I've been seeing and then my first time in Japan also and then seeing all the fans watching paper racks also. I'm 100 percent proud of which because he played at the highest level, you know, and then he's like the, the second most best team in the world. Friends is very important to have in your life, you know. Like nowadays, I don't really like mm, spending time in front of a PC. I rather to go out with them, and most of the time we try to go fishing if we have like free time and stuff. Or we would go for karaoke session. And I think it's way more balanced because I think it's important to take care of those little things, you know.
my mom has always been supporting me as well and also I always keep this in mind that I always have to take care of my mom like even when I do like better and better like it should be my mom first and being able to leave my family's burden I guess like yeah, helping my mom with anything she wants like if she wants this like, yeah, no problem I got you so recently I went to sea fishing with my brother mm -hmm. I mean it was very different feeling you know like going to the sea and then you realize that oh you're actually like oh so small you know like compared to the sea it's a very undescribed feeling I would say and the wave is like very strong and especially damn dangerous but we still managed to like enjoy this kind of like environment and stuff you know yeah. When you get the fish, you don't like panic and like strike right away, you know, you gotta have wait for the fish to like take the bait. And I think it's the same concept as the Valorant, you know, like sometimes you don't rush to get the kills. Sometimes you let the opponents do the mistakes. You can be smarter than the opponent by just punishing their mistakes, you know. The moment when the line's kind of like moving and then the rod is kind of like moving, then you know, oh, you hit like a jackpot, you know. Sometimes when you fish, you don't guarantee the, the fishes, right? And also it's the same for the tournament, I guess. Sometimes you play the tournament, it doesn't guarantee the first place and stuff, you know? But there's always something that you can learn from it, I guess, yeah.